Welcome to Graph. In this video, we will take a look at the difference between Expand and Expand Appearance in Adobe Illustrator. So the difference between Expand and Expand Appearance in Adobe Illustrator can be shown with these two things. This one is a brush stroke and this of course is a text as you can see. Um, the Expand allows you to turn the text lines, uh, patterns and shape strokes into vector image uh, shapes with outlines and the expand experience only applies through the brush strokes uh, with appearance effects like transparency they achieve the same result um, of outlining your objects and fixing the effects permanently now when the expand isn't available expand appearance will be and vice versa so you don't have to worry about choosing between the two really um, so to enable the expand with this brush stroke, you go to object and as you can see, expand isn't available, but I can choose expand appearance, which I have done. So now, and with this text, if I go to object, I don't have the expand experience, but I have the expand option. And then here you can also choose what it needs to do uh, with text. Be sure to check the object and the fill option. And if you have a stroke, also the stroke and then press OK. Now, for shapes with stroke width, you will also get the fill option and the option to expand the stroke as well into its own shape and uncheck the stroke if you don't wish to expand it and then click OK. Now, if you're trying to expand an object and the function cannot apply to it, then it's grayed out. So if expand appearance is grayed out, it just can't apply like with the text. But if it's not available, you will see that the expand option most often is. So it's really not necessary, necessary to choose between the two. You will see what's available, the object you have selected, and it basically does the same thing. So if the expand appearance isn't available, but the expand is, just choose that one. So if you're trying to expand the text and patterns and lines, then expand should be available. And the appearance really only applies to the brush strokes. But before expanding, remember to save your object on a separate invisible layer or a separate artboard or a separate document, just so you can always revert back to it if needed. Because after you save your document, if you have expanded or if you have too many steps after you have expanded, you cannot reverse it. It is permanent and it cannot be undone. So be sure to remember that and always keep a separate option available. That was it for this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you liked it and press the thumbs up button if you did. Maybe also press the subscribe button with the little bell icon if you want to see more. And I hope to see you in the next one.